Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jack Chang here and today we're going to do yet another property review. It is Residency Lamansari at Batu Caves. So yes, uh, this is Residency Lamansari. It's a rumor whip project. On paper, this is going to be a very, very exciting review because it has a whole lot of facilities which I've never seen in a rumor whip project, okay? You got a swimming pool, you got a gym, you got a badminton court, uh, also with your multi-purpose court indoor you got an outdoor sports court uh, which is a basketball court futsal court and also a sepataka court okay so on paper extremely good facilities and you also have a sky facility sky terrace sky bridge not just a sky terrace but a sky bridge also so yes uh, okay going back uh, to this project uh, you basically have 1,000 units spread across two towers Tower A and Tower B Tower A is slightly shorter, uh, 45 stories Okay, it's a bit glaring, I'm not sure you can see And for Tower B, uh, behind, uh, that has 48 stories So, so tower, there are approximately 500 units each uh, But Tower A, the shorter one actually has more units uh, 504 units if I'm not mistaken And Tower B, uh, higher up, has 496 units Yeah, 496 Okay, so facilities is on level 9, 10 uh, from first floor there's no ground floor, this uh, ground floor is their first floor all the way up to level 8 is your car park and besides level 9 and 10 you also have the sky facilities that's on level 43A yeah, 43A uh, entrance, you got 2 in, 2 out so uh, kudos to the developer uh, very good, I would say. To have two in, two out. Uh, stepping in. It's the guard house. It's covered, by the way. Okay. Okay, we just walk through all the way to the lift lobby. Yeah. So, visitors parking uh, surrounding the perimeter of the building. And right beside here is basically the highway. That's an MRR2 highway. This is the car park. Uh, so yes, it's a circular that you turn up, 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 one story, one story. So there's no intermediate. Uh, you don't have a 1A, one, one you know, 2A. Two, two it straight away goes up uh, to the next story. So this is the drop-off for Tower A. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. My bad, daydreaming. Yeah. Small drop off uh, area. And ground floor, you will notice this very nice uh, ventilated blocks facade. So you can walk in and out freely. I mean, from the, from the main walkway to the car park. L1 Level 1 This is supposed to be the kindergarten but they are currently using it as a VP office just VP very very new uh, VP last month actually in February Yeah, High high demand for me to review this project hence here am I Here, I, here am I Here I am Here I am sorry uh, This is the drop off lobby it's not covered uh, so if it rains, it's a bit tough. Okay. Got an accessibility ramp. And here is your mailbox room. So very, very normal mailbox room. Mm. There's, uh, yeah, there's not much space for drop-off. Because online shopping is a thing, right? So if there's uh, parcel deliveries and so on, I think they might just need to add additional racks here. Okay. Uh, this is the lobby and let's head up let's go stepping out of the lift we are on the highest floor and if you really look at that such a wide and big window panel 
I was just complaining about another project that day, right? Where the window panel here is small, hence causing it to be dark. But look at this. Very generous, in to in. So you got a total of four lifts, including one lift bomba. And for this floor, the few higher floors is a bit special where you only have six units instead of 15. So the regular floor has 15 units, but this is a bit special. Uh, it only has six. Okay, we're going to check out the refuse room first. Refuse chamber, so you got a double door you know, to prevent the order from going out again. Look at that, very nice. Tiles. Oh, and it's big. Yeah. Very big refuse chamber. But the, <laughs> the scary thing about big refuse chamber, right, is then people will throw all their rubbish also. Which is not supposed, I mean, a renovation waste. Uh, but I guess that really needs a lot of education. Look at that. This uh, is on level 43A. We'll check it out later. This, there's a sky. Okay, I'm not going to do uh, further tell. Uh, but there's basically facilities on that floor. Again, this property, uh, this development has one of the best facilities on paper. So we check out really how good are those facilities. Very, very generous walkway also, six feet. Yeah. And the air well, of course, we're very close to the top. But the air well is decently big. It's covered, you know, uh, solid, but there's still an opening at the side there. So this will allow uh, the hot air to go up, you know, to help on the, the ventilation as a whole. Solid, so, solid as it's covered solid. So rain, uh, basically, it will prevent a lot of the rainwater from splashing in. So this is the unit that we will be reviewing. Just like any other room of projects, a uh, single standard layout, 900 square feet, 3 bedrooms, 2 bathrooms. Similarly, at the entrance, uh, decently high up. I like this, uh, they didn't low it. And you have a lot of space for a shoe cabinet. <laughs> Look at that, that's a good 4 feet plus. So it's very, very uh, generous, more than enough, as I said, to do your shoe cabinet. Very generous landing area for a 900 square feet unit. Entering in. So a DB is up there. Can't reach, but I would think it's a single face. Nice. Immediately you notice, right? Two by two tiles for a rumor whip. I don't think so. I've seen a two by two tiles in a rumor whip project so far. I've only seen one by one. And of course, this is to reduce cost. 2x2 two two is much more expensive. So kudos to the developer for giving 2x2. Two two. Uh, this is the kitchen. Decently big also. Its own area, you can see this is because they have this extra wall here. Yeah, otherwise, it would be probably until here only. So your kitchen will be more open, right? Now they pull this wall here. You can, it's much more enclosed. You can see this area, this is the cutoff area. And you can do a bigger, longer L-shaped cabinet if you want. But to me, it's big enough already. Look at that, you can easily do this part of the wall. And that's fine. Kitchen cabinets like this. This itself is really 10 feet. Yeah. Also quite high up, this unit. I would say this is a good 9, 9.5 feet. Yeah. Look at that. This is space for your fridge. You don't have power point though for your hood and hop, I think. Uh, because this is uh, only 13, 13 amps uh, power point. But yeah, still to me it's very nice. So far, I'm liking what I see. It's the yard. And because this is a corner unit, right? Look at that. 
enjoy such a nice uh, private view. Nice. This is not blocked because you have an emergency exit there. Kecemasan and then there's a gelong hose in case of any emergency, right? The bomba is where they get the hose from. But the fact that here is open, right? Instead of a closed one, closed in. And we're again right at the top, 48 stories. Nice. Okay, uh, PowerPoint for your washing machine. Uh, water inlet, water outlet. Exposed pipes, but this again is very normal. Even you have that in uh, most condos. Uh, at this price point, right? 400, 500. You know, one interesting fact, right? When I was chatting with the owner, by the way, this is a uh, courtesy of the owner. Uh, big shout out to Inche Shukri for letting us review this unit uh, here at Laman Sari. So yes, uh, going back to what I was saying, I was chatting with the owner and he was telling me that when he purchased this unit, it was not at the initial part when this project was launched. It was only actually after two years. And interestingly, the units available, uh, not many units, including this unit on the 40th floor. <laughs> I am surprised why, did not, why people did not buy this unit early on. Because the top unit is always the most expensive in a regular condo sale setup, right? And why is it the most expensive? Because it enjoys such a nice view. Yeah, fresher air. So, there's always an incremental in price when you go from the lower units to the higher units. Surprisingly, this unit, the higher floors, the ones that were available then were the higher floors, including this one at the 48. <laughs> I'm puzzled. So when you appreciate right, this price, uh, when people sell the unit you know, 10 years after the moratorium, this certainly will be the most expensive unit in a way, compared to the lower ones, which will command a lower pricing. Anyway, uh, this is MRR2, Middle Ring Road 2 and as, as I said, unobstructed view totally clear, all the way you can see the Mont Chiara uh, there is KL area, KLCC, it's a bit foggy, I'm not sure you can see KLCC, you can see all your 4 towers KLCC and right beside uh, TRX, uh, KL Tower and also uh, Merdeka 118 Yeah Nice Very, very nice. Yeah. Clear, clear, unobstructed view. This is where you put your aircon compressors. So, piping is also provided for the master bedroom and the living room. So, aircon piping provided. And look at this. This is very, very nice. Rounded and solid, so thick. This stainless steel sliding door. You compare the more affordable uh, service apartments, condos, the likes of uh, Raza City, you know, uh, the Mini Hong Kong, which by the way I think is also a great project, but they don't give you so such good stuff. This is good. I'm liking what I see so far <laughs> for a rumor weird project. Is this the best to date? 2x2 two two tiles? Okay, let's check out the, the small guest room first. Nice. Decent. Uh, two window panels. Sometimes they give only one. So this is two. Not bad. And again, they use the same tiles 2x2, two two, right? They don't change it only for the common area outside and then you enter a room smaller. No. Still maintains the same. Yeah. Space for a single. The middle room, guest room. Wow! Look at that! Wall to wall. Damn! This is so nice, to be honest. The amount of light, the view. How is this even possible? So many condos, right? 400, 500, 600, 700, 1000 price range, you don't get this. To get this, you have to look at really high-end ones. If you see some of my videos, either by Pavilion Group or those in Monkara, KLCC area, you only get this. 
Now, inside a room, we project you have this wall to wall, really, literally, in the wall to wall, man. Look at that. Wow, nice, lah, really. And this is like a big window panel itself, right? It's a fixed panel, only this one swings out. Yeah, only this one you can open. The others are fixed, but it's a big fixed one, they don't cut it into small pieces. Ah, again, standard tiles. Oh, okay, since this is so good, this unit, I'm sure the master bedroom will have a similar setup. Okay, let's see the common bathroom first. Nothing, uh, okay, I realize they don't have a water heater here. Hmm. So if you want water heater, you have the pool. Uh, but other than that, it's quite nice. White tiles, very clean. These tiles look similar like the one that I think I saw in the refuse chamber. Very bright, yeah. Very nice. Uh, easy flick. I'm guessing this is a local brand. And this is Norin Water Closet. Owners doing ponding tests. Looks okay. Okay. Bathroom is normal. Here it's quite high up also, I noticed, right? They didn't reduce the, 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 the height. And that's because there's no need for any cables to be crossing across icon piping on. That's why they can push it all the way to the slab. The master. Yes! Also wall to wall. And this is really big. Look at that. This is 9 feet wall to wall. Ooh, look at the size. This itself. Four feet. Ah, oh, to be honest, three hundred thousand. Forty-eight story. After the moratorium is over, this price is going to shoot up like crazy. This is really solid, to be honest. Huh? Okay, you see this one. Uh, so this one, you will notice, doesn't open much. Uh, again, this is a safety feature. How to make this bigger, right? You notice here, when I open this, this piece here, okay, I'm not sure you can see the contrast. This piece here is blocked by this piece, right? So what you can do is, you can unscrew this and you can remove this metal piece. Yeah, the original was supposed to be this one, okay? So you remove this, this screw and this metal piece, then you can open it bigger. Can this thing will go all the way to here? I think here will be full, uh, full ninety degrees. If you want to open not so big, then you can actually remove this piece and you can actually cut this uh, aluminium piece. This is the aluminium piece here. Can you see this one? Okay. Yeah. Don't need to change the window. I uh. don't change the window. Any is nothing wrong with the window. Nothing wrong with the hinges. This is just as. Uh, a security feature which you can adjust on your own. Very noisy, no problem. Just close it. Again, solid quality, right? Sound is gone. Ah, look at that. So again, all this is provided, piping is provided. Decently big. You can do your wardrobe here. I'll do my wardrobe here, right? This side here. And then here, king size bed, either side of the wall. Yeah. This is the master bathroom. After bathroom also seems bigger than the other one, slightly. Yeah. You can see it's, uh, it's uh, <laughs> okay, offset a little bit inside. But no water heater, no. Oh no, there is. Oh, you have for this. Nice. So this one, I'm sure the PowerPoint is above. Uh, yeah. Good. You have water heater. Wow. So, it's a very nice unit. So far, long and sorry. So, two big things, uh, I think, selling points. Look at this wall-to-wall -wall window panels for your rooms and 
two by two tiles. Yeah, quality looks okay. Uh, finishing, you know, the, the items that they're using, this quality of this sliding door, Schneider electric uh, face plates, power points. All in all, rather good. Once again, a big shout out to the owner, Ajit Shukri, for giving us this opportunity. Now that we're finished reviewing this unit, let's head down and check out the facilities. Let's go. We kick off our facilities tour on level 43A. So this is not the highest, uh, but close enough to the top. And for this floor, you basically have sky bridge, sky facilities. Yeah. So you got more units to that side. Uh, this is a very big open area. Uh, we were at the top. There, looking down moments ago, and this was uh, now saying there's facilities here, very nice facilities. Okay, let me just show you that the, I wouldn't walk all the way, but I like the nice ventilator box towards that end, so it makes it very bright. Yeah. I am really puzzled how the developer is able to deliver all this. Wait until you check out the facilities. It's so nice for a Ruma Whip project. Really solid. And what I meant by that is that you have a sky bridge. Look at that sky bridge. Look at that. Full, all the way to the bottom. It's full glass panels. Wall to wall. Look at that. Nice. And so airy. Again, so high up, right? Wait until you see the view at night. Uh, that's 99 Wonderland Park, by the way. Uh, at night, it lights up. Very, very nice. Uh, there's a school at the bottom here. I forgot the name of the school. And then at night, of course, you can see a view of Genting. Wow. Look at that. If you stay in a condo, does it, your condo even have such cool stuff? Forget about it, this being a rumor. With even a condo, it's hard to find such stuff. Nice. A lot of use of these ventilated bricks, which I really like. Yeah from an architecture point of view. I love so much uh, ventilation. And this, look at the space. So there, you can have your BBQ pit. Big, open, nice area. Yeah. These are all your air wells, which again allows all these open blocks, right? It allows the hot air to rise from the bottom. And they'll come up, you know. So it help in cooling the building down. Nice. Okay, there is heading towards uh, Tower A. We are in Tower B. Yeah. Here, uh, you see all these pipes here? Yeah? I think Obviously, you have a, you can put a water tap there, and then here, you can potentially have some uh, potted plants. I think, I think I could be wrong. But yes, very, very big, very, very windy. It's high up. Yeah. Look at the amount of space, double volume. <laughs> and this is pure design architecture, right? This piece here. I don't know, it looks grand, looks nice. For a Ruma whip. Very, very strong wind. Okay, I can, there's nothing nothing blowing, but I can I can feel a strong gust of wind. Okay, wait, let me just check out the view. <laughs> Look at that! 
that's Batu Caves. So if we are actually quite near to Batu Caves. Uh, this is less than two kilometers to Batu Caves, actually. That's how close we are. Uh, let me zoom in. Yeah, Batu Caves. And 12 kilometers away from KLCC. So at the back here, at the back here, all will be already Selangor. Yeah. Pasa, I think this should be the Pasa Borong Selayang. Yeah. Across the street there onwards is already Selayang. Here is the border of KL. So this is, you still get a KL address for this uh, for this residency, Laman Sari. Yeah. Beautiful, seriously. The view. <laughs> At night, you can see Genting. Okay? Not sure fair, but I, this is certainly well within reach of Genting. Wow. Both sides, you get a nice view. Right? Not just, not just that side, but this side also. Man. <laughs> wow. Nice. <sighs> Compared to let me see which other Ruma Whip had sky facilities. I think Kiara Kase. Compared to Kiara Kase, I think I would say this is nicer. This is not the highest floor, it's covered. But yes, covered, you know, double volume, this sky bridge. It lacks landscaping, pot up plants and so on. But to me, that's not an issue. Why? Because you can easily add that on, right? Always more important to secure the space first. Okay, anyway, yes, not, let's, not, let's not waste time. Uh, I'll fast forward, let's head down to the lower facilities floor. The main facilities floor on... Okay, no, let's go to ground floor first. Then we'll come back up to the main facilities floor on level 9. Let's go! So we're back down on the ground floor. Or for this development, uh, the ground floor is actually uh, first floor. So you have some facilities. Uh, you actually have a shop, space for a shop. And that's supposed to be your kindergarten, which they are currently using it for BP. And towards the end, you have a very nice multi-purpose court. Okay, this part here is going to be a bit long, so I'll just skip directly to my court. So, yes, you have an outdoor court. Multi-purpose outdoor court. Uh, from what I see, it's a separate takro, two. You can fit two separate takros, and if you remove those tiang in the middle, right, it becomes a full-sized basketball court. Yes, full-sized basketball court. Yeah, just beside the highway. Nice. So there's the entrance. Uh, Okay, talking about the entrance, right, since uh, I started right from the guard post. So that is the highway right beside us, that's MR2. And there's this slip road which you can enter. It's one way, by the way. Uh, all the way you can enter, you will, you will end up at the guard house. So very easy access in from the main road, MR2. Okay, uh, that's all the facilities on this floor. Let's head up and check the main facilities floor on level 9. Let's go! Stepping up the lift, we are on the 9th floor. So this is the main facilities floor. You've got two entrances, uh, two, two exits here and there. So we check out this side. Nice open area deck. some facilities towards the inn and on this floor also besides your facilities you also have units never really keen on uh, lower 
floor units. First, as you notice, uh, it's very dark, you know, because again, we are very low down, right? So even the air well doesn't help much. And secondly, there's a lot of footfall or traffic because why? A lot of people come to the facilities, right? So yeah, in terms of preference, personal preference, I would not uh, like exercise equipment. Very basic exercise equipment. Uh, spring up, balance beam, and got some sitting there. Yeah, a few stools, fixed stools, similar like the one that you saw at the open deck area. Okay, let's uh, I'll fast forward this part uh, and let's head towards back towards the lift lobby. Back towards the lift lobby. Now we we'll exit from this door. Yeah. <laughs> Not much landscaping just yet. Uh, this will require a lot of effort though to maintain. So it's always a double-edged sword. While it looks nice and so on, right? If it's not maintained properly, then that's when it looks miserable. This is bare for now. I don't think so. This is the end state. I think it's still work in progress. Uh, swimming pool. So this is an infinity swimming pool. Yeah. Got a nice view. <laughs> Look at that. And again, this is because it's uh, everything else. It's low rise. Here, we've got space for a cafe. So imagine once this is, uh, if they can find an operator, this would be nice. Yeah. Tables, chairs, chill out. It's certainly doable. Uh, why? I feel this has enough volume. This has thousand units. Yeah, just to recap. Nice big open space. Look at that. Yeah. And you have a separate wading pool. And you notice also, the wading pool has some uh, water play equipment. You've basically got three guns there. Okay, someone's using it. Uh, so I don't want to go too near <laughs> intruding, right? But yes, very, very nice. Look at that. Yeah. There is the management office. Yeah. Playground. Look at the playground. I like the fact that the playground is, is lower down and it's within this area. I mean, it's, it's in a... It's contained within this area, right? So it's safe. Padded also, if you noticed. So, especially kids that are really small, right? You just have to be inside, you know your kids won't simply run wild and they will not run out of your sight. Ask them to go to the playground, you sit here, chill. Yeah? And you can monitor them. As long as they're inside, they can't come out. It's only here or here. Accessibility ramp uh, for those uh, wheelchair, baby chair, stroller. Yeah. This looks like a BBQ pit. So you can, I don't know, the, the one up there, is that a BBQ pit? Because the BBQ pit is here. Yeah. Some sittings, but there's no table here. Mm. And can I enter? This is the badminton hall. You got a badminton hall. Look at that. Uh, washroom. Let's check out the washroom. Not bad. Not bad. It's okay. Yeah. Lacking a mirror. I hope they can install one mirror. You got tiles, similar tiles to the one uh, in the unit for the bathroom. Multi-purpose hall. So a lot of space, yeah? There's the management hall. General space all around. Oh, it's a bit dark. But it's high up. Yeah, look at that. So 
So space-wise, right, the volume, three quarts. The flooring, hmm, not the best of flooring. Uh, but again, what's there to complain? This is again a rumor with project. Yeah. If anything, I always believe, right, it's okay as long as you got the space. Get the space first. Then from there on, it all depends on the owners, you know, the, the developers, you know, to maintain this building. And then when you have funds, that's where you can lay whatever you want, carpeted badminton flooring, you know, here. Why not? But if you don't have the space, then what's there to... <laughs> you, you won't even have a badminton court for a start. Ah, this nice area again to lepak. Right? So many facilities. This has to be the best Ruma Whip that I've seen today. I think the only thing missing is that uh, public transport. Yeah. So there's no walking uh, train station uh, within walking distance, rather. I think that's the only thing lacking. Others, if you ask me, I think it's perfect. The unit. Uh, Finishing the facilities, location wise, also is good. You know, again, we are very close to uh, the city center. Okay, uh, I think that's all for level 9. Let's head up to level 10. Let's go. Okay, before I go up to level 10, uh, reading room. Yes. So you have a big, huge space. Uh, it's currently still empty. So I hope they can uh, have books, at least a few tables, bookshelves, book racks. But yes, very nice. Okay, now that should all, that should be it. Let's go up to level 10. Stepping out of the lift, we are on level 10. So for level 10, you have some facilities. Not much, not as much as level 9. You have uh, units there on that side. So yes, level 10 basically houses your gym. Uh. Very simple gym. Not much equipment, if you ask me. But again, I think it's perfectly fine. Because most important is you have the space. So you have some treadmills, some cyclers, uh, no weights. But, <laughs> hey, considering... Okay, sorry, you have the weights, it's hidden there. And it's actually very nice also, yeah, the view. Yeah. Here, all open up, you get a nice view. Look at that. So what's lacking is probably the equipment, you know, some ID. But like what I was mentioning, hey, you don't even have a gym at some Roma Whips. This you have, yeah? And if you don't ask me again, what I was saying in my earlier point, you can furnish it later, yeah? You can furnish it later. Most important is you have the space. You, there's really nothing much to complain with, with this type of uh, facilities given the list. Which other Ruma Whip project? You have a badminton court, you have a multi purpose sports court, you have a. Okay, let me just check out this surah. Wow, look at that. It's big, the tempat wuduk. Nice. <laughs> nice, I don't know. Do you, um, do, you, do you agree with me? So which other project has a sports hall, uh, has a swimming pool, you know? This rumor whip is the best that I've seen so far. So yes, if you're interested okay, in getting a unit, I do not have a contact for you. Uh, but yes, please do check out the unit uh, if you want to rent the unit. And let me know what you think about this unit in your comments below. To me, this is extremely good. It's probably one of the best Ruma Whip projects that I've ever seen. 
uh, hands down, the unit itself is solid, you know. Uh, you talk about the 2x2 two two tiles, you talk about the quality, fitting, finishing, wall-to-wall -wall window panels and the facilities here. The only thing lacking, as I said, minor stuff uh, such as the public transport, probably that's the, the only downfall that I see. Okay? So yes, feel free to share this video with your friends or families. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Do smash the like button. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!